Where does that leave the market for this first quarter? Like, are you still able to make a lot of money off of the volatility at least? Well, volatility is not our, not our business. Um, you know, moving, moving product from A to B, from producers to consumers, um, blending and arbitrage is, is the mainstay of our business. But in terms, of, in terms of where it leaves the market, we think we've lost uh, upwards of 200 million barrels of demand in the first quarter, or we will have lost 200 million barrels of demand in the first quarter. So obviously the price has been impacted mm. by that. Uh, the fall from, let's say, the midpoint of the market of about 65 down to about 53 was assessing and the market trying to digest how bad things were going to get. Um, and I think it was Monday the 10th, the market got down to its low of 53, which was you know, people coming back from the weekend, trying to digest the news, mm -hmm. how bad is it really going to be? Uh, and the market you know, tried to assess that. And I think since then, really the, the expectations of how long the virus might last and its, and its long-lasting impact, you know, people have probably been reducing their worst-case scenarios uh, over that period of time. The result has been that the market's uh, chosen uh, probably a, a slightly softer path, a little bit less loss of demand, and therefore you know, a, a higher equilibrium price, and we're back to about $60 today. But $200 million, uh, 200 million barrels of demand loss uh, has to be, uh, means that oil has to go into storage or supply has to respond to that in order to balance the market. So we see quite a bit of rebalancing happening through, um, through supply cuts. Uh, this week we've had uh, obviously the, the renewed sanctions uh, mm -hmm. in Venezuela. We know Libya is uh, pretty much uh, zero uh, production today, zero exports today. So that's, uh, that's another significant supply impact. And obviously price in the end also does some work in the US around the shale basin. So, uh, and, and there's an OPEC meeting to come, which we mustn't forget uh, in a couple of weeks time, which, uh, which also the market's anticipating some kind of supply response from, from OPEC. So all of those factors are gonna help rebalance that 200 million barrels. Uh, which leaves the market uh, in, a, in a better position for, for yeah, the second half of the year. We're nearly at 60 today, so there does seem to be some optimism. Do you share that view? Yeah, I think we're, 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 well, we're obviously a lot more positive about the second half than, than the first half. People, people have baked in this demand loss into the mm. price in the first half. The expectation, clearly, of the market today is that it's not going to get significantly worse than what we've seen. Um, and, and obviously the news flow suggests that's the right opinion to come to. You know, we ho we're hoping for a speedy recovery for, for everybody involved, but, but obviously if we do have a speedy recovery, that 200 million barrel demand mm -hmm. loss is about as, as, as big as it gets, and then the supply response will begin to correct that. How high do you think we could see prices rebound? I think 60, you know, the, the $60 mark or 60 to $70 mark for the next... A uh, few months is a, is a reasonable expectation, but, uh, but clearly the market's going to wait mm -hmm. to determine what, uh, what happens in Libya and what happens in OPEC because they're two extremely important factors. I want to ask you about OPEC because I just got back from Riyadh and His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz compared the coronavirus impact to a house on fire. He said you can use a garden hose or call the fire brigade. What would you suggest OPEC use? F sorry, oh, garden uh, hose uh, or uh, a fire brigade in terms of a supply cut? Well, I Go think. Big, um, or should they I, I, cut I, a little bit? I think, um, you know, in terms in terms of that, the market the market was relatively balanced before these events came came to pass. So we're really trying to correct for for that two hundred million barrel demand loss, and in terms of in terms of the cuts to 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 bring the market back into balance and to leave a positive uh, a, a positive impact for the second half of the year. I think what OPEC have been talking about is, is a reasonable measure uh, if, if their objective is to bring the market back into balance and correct for that demand loss.